In this next step, we're going to create a database um, that's going to hold the content of your WordPress site. So we're going to have to go back to the administration panel of our web hosting account. And obviously, if you used a different hosting account, you'll go somewhere else. But we're going to go to startlogic.com forward slash control panel. And we're going to log back into the control panel. And so you're going to need to refer to that um, Word document or notepad um, document that you've put your username and password or just the email or whatever. You just got to log in with that username and password. So I'm going to make, make sure that my password's correct. And log back in. And the first thing that you're going to want to do is enable the CGI on the account. And that's not a hard thing at all. Um, you're just going to scroll down to scripting and add-ons and that's just something that's going to help you avoid having to get on with support uh, and fix something so uh, go ahead and scripting and add-ons and CGI and scripted language support and remember the look of this site could change so if, if they change the look around just search until you find uh, scripting and add-ons in this CGI and scripted um, language support and all you're gonna have to do is just enable this it's just the one click of a button and I have actually already done it for this account so it's actually setting it up and it says you know my CGI bin directory was going to be available in the next several minutes so I've already done it but right here and, and like I said it could change the look of it but it's just gonna say enable CGI and click submit and so that's all you really have to do is just click submit and then it'll take a few minutes to work but um, it'll be up and running by the time hopefully you actually want to start your blog so the next thing you want to do is go back to the VDEC or the administration panel as they call it the VDEC and in scripting and add-ons it's manage MySQL and that's actually the database the database that you're gonna set up and all you have to do is is make something up you don't have to put anything real specific here you just have to be able to remember it so that's where that word document or notepad uh, document is going to come in handy so you're going to want to put in uh, I'm actually going to use my easy WordPress which I've already got got here from other things and my database login I'm going to use abbreviate easy WordPress so EWP database and I'm going to do something really long but EWP database admin you gotta confirm that and then just click submit and hopefully I did this right I love when you're typing things in and you can't actually see what you're typing it's great but so you've got to have these databases and so when you want to create another additional WordPress blog you're gonna to have to create an additional database and so um, it's just the easiest easiest way to do it and they let you create up to 25 databases on this account and so now we've set up the database and the next step is we're gonna to have to edit a very specific file within the WordPress download that we downloaded from wordpress.org and it's gonna be an easy thing we're just gonna pull it up in notepad and add this information into it so we're going to learn about that in the next step.